Hello my students, uh, in this video we will talking about the geriatric dentistry related to the prosthetic lecture part 1. At the beginning we should know some definitions. Geriatric dentistry is the branch of the dentistry that emphasizes dental care for the elderly population and focuses upon the patients with a chronic physiological, physical, and or psychological chains, or morbid conditions or diseases. Oral health reflects overall well-being for the elderly population. Dental geriatrics, the branch of dental care involving problems peculiar to advanced age and aging. Second definition, dentistry for the aged patient. Growth is an increase in the size, as we see in the picture, from the child who to the old age. Development is progress toward maturity. Maturation, the stabilization of the adult stage brought about by the growth and development, as we see in the strawberry. The same size but the maturation different in the color. Aging refers to a reversible and inevitable change occurs with the time. As we see in the Sylvester Stallone when he was at the young age, the change when he become older. Gerontology is the study of aging in all its aspects. Biologic, physiologic, sociologic, and psychologic. Gerodontics is, is the treatment of dental problems of aging persons. Gerodontology, the study of the dentition and dental problems in aged or aging persons. What causing aging? The consensus today is that aging is the end result of multiple biological processes which include Genetic level, where information for the initiation and maintenance of cellular functions are encoded Cellular level, where integrity of somatic cells is maintained Organ and organ system level where physiologic functions are performed. Coordination level. Physiologic functions are controlled and assembled into complex function. Factors influencing aging. Genetic factors. Mutation. Several mutations reduce lifespan. Species specific lifespan. Each species is characterized by its own pattern of aging and maximum lifespan. Hybrid vigor. The effect of genetic constitution on longevity is perhaps best exemplified where hybrid vigor is demonstrated. 6. In human and animal, female lives usually longer. Parental age. Like father, like son. Premature aging syndrome, single gene change results in premature senescence in humans, example Werner's syndrome, which is mean rapid premature aging. Environmental factor, physical and chemical like pollution, radiations, working atmosphere, etc. may reduce lifespan. Biological factors, nutrition, and general health, etc. Pathogens and parasites, they influence the rate of human development, example, low income group and uh, human who lives in tropical countries may reduce the lifespan. Socioeconomic conditions, bad housing, stresses, etc. All these factors may reduce lifespan. Body chains 
can be came from the aging or from the other condition. The other condition is systemic diseases like surgeries, radiation, or chemotherapy, or medicines. These factors lead to the body change, and this is may make superimposes between the source of these body chains. Goal of geriatric dentistry. Number one, to maintain oral health of individuals. To maintain ideal health and function of masticatory system by establishing adequate preventive measures. In diseased patients, maintaining oral and general health. Objectives of geriatric dentistry. To recognize and relieve difficulties of elderly people. Restorations and the preservation of function for maintaining normal life in elderly patients. Psychological disorders of elderly patients generally seen by prostodontists. Anxiety. It is a response to the perception of danger, actual or anticipated. Its purpose is to alert individuals to danger so as to prepare them to cope with it. A major source of anxiety is alteration of body integrity and the way of the body function. Extensive chains in oral cavity like loss of teeth and replacement with danger represent such a threat and therefore can trigger anxiety. Depression. It is a response to loss, actual or threatened, real or fantasized. Sadness and hopelessness are the common feelings when significant loss is experienced, such as loss of loved one or loss of a body part. The impact is particularly serious when it is involved emotionally on the invested part of the body, such as face, like teeth, it's a part of the face. For some patients, the tooth have become so invested with meaning that their loss is experienced as catastrophic. Conversion hysteria. This means people convert the anxiety from emotional conflicts into somatic symptoms such as pain muscle weakness or sensory disturbance or they reproduce as symptoms which they had at some time in the past. Body image disturbance. The mouth is the most emotionally charged area of the body and therefore frequently involved in body image disturbance. Any alteration to the patient's mouth is a body change to which they must adapt until they do anxiety will be present. Factors that influence the patient's response. Parental influence. The parental attitude toward body values is assumed by the children and this is observed through regarding the value and appearance of the mouth. Patients who are children observe their parents undergoing dental treatment may become traumatically conditioned by such observation. Number two, siblings influence. The behavior of siblings also has a strong influence on the dental attitude developed by patients. Number three, Peer group. A person is influenced to some extent by his peer group. Symbolic significance. The more common symbolic significance of tooth loss is aging, loss of femininity, loss of virility, loss of attractiveness and vitality and body degeneration. Current life circumstances. Where one's life is already seriously disrupted 
additional traumas such as tooth loss may impair the ability to cope and increase the probability of maladaptive response. Seven basic personality traits will be considered in the light of their influence on success in dentistry. The dentist must be agreeable. The patients regarded the best dentist who was cheerful, friendly, and congenial. The dentist must be good listener. A poor is the fellow who keeps talking about himself when I want to talk about myself. If the dentist wants to enjoy maximum success, he must of course be a good conversationalist and an enthusiastic educator. But first of all, he should be a good listener. Dentists must avoid argument. Crane says, guide me deftly to the decision you want me to make. Don't crowd, don't shove. Just feed me ideas as fast as I can absorb them. If you can influence me to persuade myself, I will sign. Dentists must criticize tactfully, in general. It can be said that criticism is futile because it aims a death blow at one's self-respect by undermining the feeling of personal worth. Yet, it is possible to criticize and accomplish the proper result without offending. It merely requires a little tact, hence an excellent policy to follow. Compliment first and then tactfully offer constructive criticism. Dentists don't be egotistic. Individuals simply cannot wait for others to discover their good qualities. It is important to wait for the others appreciate the effective dental services that you brought. The dentist must remember name and faces. We can give people nourishment for their self-esteem by making it a point to remember their name. The dentist must be interested in others. Dentists in general become more interested in things than in people. The habit of being interested in others find that without making any conscious effort without realizing exactly why they hold in their hand the key the open system to the hearts and minds of people systemic diseases and its dental relation cardiovascular diseases and periodontitis are interrelated and commonly seen in geriatric patients Infective endocarditis, other common diseases found in elderly patients has associated with periodontitis, the bacteria like Varidans streptococci, normally found in oral cavity, whereas some bacteria found in dental plaque have been isolated from the blood sample of infective endocarditis patients. Respiratory infections usually caused by oropharyngeal and periodontal microorganism and bacteria. The main cause of respiratory infection and bacterial pneumonia in adults is aspiration of oropharyngeal bacteria. Rheumatoid arthritis is seen in elderly patients. This rheumatoid arthritis has similar characteristic of periodontitis as there is destruction of hard and soft tissue as a result of inflammatory response. However, the interrelationship as well as association between the rheumatoid arthritis and periodontitis has not been proved. Diabetes mellitus. The other most common disease seen adults and elderly individuals in 20, 21st century. It has been proved and found that the patient suffering from type 1 and type 2 diabetes mellitus has distinguished 
dental manifestations such as loss of periodontal attachment, gingival and periodontal abscess, and early loss of teeth. This is the end of the part one of the lecture. Thank you for your watching.